Pamela Richard and this is Pamela's Place where we show you how to cook healthy and quick meals to fit your family. Today we're going to make a vegetable spaghetti using spaghetti squash as our main component instead of regular spaghetti. wondering how am I going to do that. So let's get started. I have my skillet heating up and we're going to start by putting a little oil in it because we want to saute down a lot of our vegetables and then I'm going to show you how to put that squash in the oven. So let's get our onions in and it's just all the vegetables you like. We got our onions going in and we're going to add peppers. I have red peppers because I happen to like the sweetness that the peppers bring and the color to the dish. And we have yellow peppers. I happen to like the color that it brings. It's bright. And they taste pretty good. They're all sweet. Instead of the green, the green is kind of a little tough when you're making this kind of dish. So we're going to let these things simmer down. And we're going to add just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. So we have those things going. So now I'm going to show you how to get your squash with. So this is a spaghetti squash. And you're wondering why does it look like that where's the rest of it? Because I cut it in half and I've already taken that half and I've already prepared it. But I want to show you after you cut it, it's almost like a watermelon on the inside. And it's like a uh, cantaloupe. So it's in that kind of, and pumpkin, it has seeds like a pumpkin. So what you want to do is you want to clean out this inside and you just take a spoon and you're going to pull up all of that. Look how that's coming out. And you see the seeds like pumpkin seeds and you want to get all the way in there and you want to clean it out. And that's what we're going to do all the way around. You're going to clean it out. There we go. You want to get it all cleaned out. And once we have everything out of it, we put it in a 400 degree oven. We add a little olive oil, whatever kind of oil you have, salt and pepper, and we put it on a pan, a roasting pan, and we're going to put it in the oven for 400, at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And when it comes out, this is what it looks like. looking at that and some people thought it was a loaf of bread, others thought it was something else. But really it's just the same squat. I'm going to stir my vegetables up here. So as it comes out, you let it cool so that you're able to work with it. But see how soft it is and the brownness around it looks delicious. Take a fork, and it's going to come out just like spaghetti. See the strings as they come out? So we don't want to take it all out right now because we're going to add it to our dish back there. But I wanted to give you an idea of how it looks after it cools down. It looks just like spaghetti, but it's a healthier version and it has no calories. So we're going to come back to this dish after we get our other stuff prepared. Now we want to add some garlic. Dish. And we're just going to chop up some garlic. Doesn't have to be any particular way. Just going to slice it. Just give it a rough chop. Up. We're going to add that to our pan. And you know I like to layer my stuff and cook it www.showtowntv.com That's S-H-O-TownTV.com The Showtown Television Network where you are the star. I'm Jesse Peck. And do you have a concept or show idea? If you could be the next Oldmore Dr. Phil, would you like to have your own talk show? Be a soap star. Bring your ideas to life at Showtown Television Network for free. That's right, free. Edit. Produce, record your own television show with Showtime. 
Send an email today to talent at showtimetv.com. Now I want to add a little eggplant. The eggplant will absorb all this oil that's in there. And I don't want to let my garlic burn because it'll get bitter. Just a little eggplant, not a lot. Just to the taste. Keep it going. And now I want to move that around. And I want to season the eggplant. I'm going to add a little pepper and a little salt. That way you don't over season. You just keep adding a little and it comes out to big bowl of flavors for you. So after that's cooked down, and sometimes the eggplant will absorb your oil, you can add a little more oil. It's okay. It won't do anything to your dish. So we have that going around. And now we're going to add just a little bit of crushed tomatoes. And a little of the juice too. If you can smell this, I'm telling you the flavor, they're marrying together. And it's really a light and tasty dish. So I'm going to let it cook now just a little bit more and I'm going to add a couple more things to it. I happen to like squash. I know you already said I have spaghetti squash, but this is a different kind of yellow squash. So I want to add a little bit of that to my dish. And you want to add it kind of towards the end because it can get a little mushy if you allow it to cook too long. So we're going to let it simmer down. And just as it about to simmer and cook down, I want to add just a little bit of white wine. And let the wine flavor cook out. And a little bit more salt. And a little pepper. So the wine is going to give it a juice that you'll put over your, over your spaghetti. And so we're just going to let that cook down. So now that we've let it cook down, we're going to assemble our dish. So we're going to start by stringing out our spaghetti, our spaghetti squash. See how nice that comes out with a fork? Just easy. And it looks just like spaghetti. So you want to make sure the olive oil keeps it from sticking together. And you just take it right out. So we're going to add a little bit to our plate. And then we're going to top it with our vegetables that we simmered down. With all the pretty colors and the flavors. So we want to make sure we get some of everything on that plate. For this week's complete recipe, go to www.showtowntv.com backslash Pam's Recipes.